Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you swatches and do a review of the Ico nail polishes. Um, I have got them all here. This is from their, I think, summer collection. Um, you can all buy these also on their website. I'll have the detailed information below this video in the info bar. And I'm going to be showing you these five polishes. I've swatched them in my hand and I'll also let you know about, you know, how they apply and stuff like okay. that. So this is the first color. Um, this is called Coral Polish. I mean, the, the names aren't very fancy with this company they're just plain um, but you know that kind of rules out any confusion because this is just a really really bright coral and this is actually one of my favorites um, actually it probably is my favorite from the whole collection because it's just super bright perfect for summer this is actually a lot like the Mac um, nail polish that came out with the to the beach collection I believe that one is called scorcher I don't have that one personally but I've seen it swatched side by side and they look nearly identical um, it's just a beautiful coral shade that isn't too orange it's kind of going to the reddish coral shade really really like this Next. one this one is this one I have this swatched on my index finger and this is called tea rose and that's the perfect name for it because it really is just a tea rose color sort of a mauve undertone the middle one that I have here this is called posh polish and this is a light taupe shade like a light kind of mushroomy taupe shade and I know those taupe colors have been like really really popular um, so I thought I would just do a comparison to another very popular a nail polish that I have by Sephora by OPI and this is Metro Chic so you can see that the color is kind of different um, I don't know like this one kind of has a more sort of a purpley undertone so I actually really do like this color um, this is probably my next favorite from that collection. Um, the one that's on my ring finger is this one. And this one is called Vampira. So I don't know if you can see it, but there are like red, there's like red sparkles in here, like red glitter. So this is basically like a black nail polish with red glitter in it. And the last one is this one, and this one is called Petite Polish, and this is a sheer milky pastel pink. So this is definitely sheer. You could use this for French manicures if you wanted. If you wanted to do the white strip at the top, this would work perfectly. Um, so overall about the application, I found that all of them are quite opaque after two coats. Actually, they were, especially, except for the sheer one, all of them were completely opaque after two coats. So they do um, go on very smoothly. They are a little bit on the thicker side. Um, one thing I did notice, however, is that the brushes, some of them have hairs like sticking out. Like this one, um, the brush tip, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the brush here is a little bit wonky. Like it has those little, you see that part right there? It like sticks up in front and that kind of just makes it really hard to make a neat manicure. So I don't know if this is just, this is probably just some fluke thing, but I also kind of noticed um, that the brush wasn't quite perfect on, I think it was the coral one. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's like a couple of like little extra hair sticking up in the front. So I just feel like that's kind of annoying because, oops, um, it just kind of makes it hard to make a really perfect manicure. Like especially the Vampira, like that little piece sticking up in the front. That's why I got this like little glob here. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like a negative point, but um, also the Vampira polish. I feel like this is really similar to China Glaze Lubu Heels. And um, overall, like I love the polish colors. Like I think they're really pretty colors, but I feel like they aren't very original. Like I feel like I've seen all these colors before. Um, you know, like this is a lot like China Glaze Lubu Heels. This taupe color has been like, you know, every company has released a taupe color. Um, this is definitely my favorite. I think this is definitely a color worth getting if you didn't pick up the one from MAC because I think it is really, really pretty. Um, this will look great on toes as well in the summer. So I've been actually wearing this quite a few times. Um, the tea rolls, I'm not like a huge fan of it. I just don't particularly like that kind of color on me. And this um, petite polish, I just don't think it's really anything unique. So I don't know, like, I mean, the polishes are nice, but I feel like they're not super unique, except for maybe one or two of them. There you can see the swatches. I'm also going to put the pictures, if you want to see it like a picture swatch, I'm going to put those on my website. I'll have the link below this video so you can check them out. I'll also put the information and if on where to buy these polishes below this video, so if you want to check it out, you can. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!